The conflict between Apple and Microsoft is an age-old affair, one that has been made permanent by the supporters of either platform for the better part of the 21st century and the tail end of the 20th. Windows 10, now the most popular desktop operating system in the world, its biggest rival, macOS, lags far behind in terms of market share. But being popular doesn't necessarily mean you're the best. So let's take a look at what macOS has to offer that our Windows friends can only dream about and the Windows features that make us jealous. In terms of look and feel, macOS is designed for high-res retina displays. The majority of Macs these days feature displays with high resolutions and the interface takes advantage of that with little touches that wouldn't look as good on a lower resolution display. Windows 10 initially lacked the clean modern look of macOS, but since it was launched in 2015, it's had a design refresh known as the Fluent Design System, bringing more animations and blurring elements. The changes have brought new 3D elements as well as more light, depth, motion, and the UI element scale to remain usable across different devices. In order for computers to be at all usable, they must be controlled through a user interface, UI, which acts as bridge between human logic and computer logic. Mac interface has always been really simple to use, as well as being elegantly designed. You interface with your Mac mostly via the dock, which can house shortcuts to your favorite apps and frequently accessed folders, the menu bar at the top of the screen, the Finder, File Browser, and Spotlight Search. When you have the Finder on macOS, you have File Explorer, on Windows 10. This allows you to browse and open all the files you have stored on your PC. Quick access is a useful feature that automatically populates with your frequently accessed folders and recent files. You can also automatically pin things to it to make it easy to find things. Apple in general has a good reputation when it comes to user privacy, thanks to its differential privacy, which is a mathematical approach that introduces random elements to harvested data sets in such a way that it becomes impossible for a researcher to determine the preferences or behavior of any single user. Microsoft, meanwhile, has faced some questions over its approach to privacy. Much has been made of spyware issues in Windows 10. Windows is the first choice for the gaming community, both developers and users. Games are first built for Windows before they are even considered for any other platform. Adobe has gone on record via their Adobe Hardware Performance white paper to point out that the performance of their software comes down to specs, not operating system. So there's no real evidence for the old saying, Adobe software runs better on Mac. Photoshop, InDesign, etc. were not designed to perform better due to OS preference. Adobe Photoshop was born on the Mac. 31 years ago, in 1988, John and Thomas Knoll built the first version of Photoshop on a Macintosh computer because it was essentially the only computer with a color display and capacity to handle the program they were building. Both macOS and Windows are very powerful when it comes to music production and with the exciting new technologies on the horizon for both Windows and macOS, the debate between PC versus Mac will continue long after these technologies become obsolete. One thing is for certain though, the future on both platforms is very bright. So, which OS do you prefer? Leave a comment down in the comments section with your preferred OS 